बी सी चौधरी टू प्लीज चेयर द सेशन एंड मैडम मैडम तृप्ता वाही टू प्लीज को चेयर I know it was uh, really intense but I do not know if it was also enjoyable at least the group that I was in we really enjoyed ourselves uh okay okay how you how you how you define the term enjoyment <laughs> indeed you see uh, when we began i think there was a query why do you need a full day for define trying to define a river and now i think at the end of the day it seems that one day is, was not enough uh we we will now certainly try to uh come to some kind of a conf conference consensus there are four groups uh i think all the groups have completed their work just one group is still working very hard uh, okay <laughs> uh now uh if i could request bcg to please uh, take over i i i have a wrong ten wrong actually uh, tendency to talk too much and today i have been too much on the dais tomorrow onwards you will not see me here thank you thanks manoj ji okay um i think in you know, as the discussions in the earlier sessions may have gone uh, what we experience in our group i could visualize what other groups may have also had mushkil hoga mera hindi agar aap samajh payenge to bahut kuch bahut acha hoga to ye kehna chahta hu ki hum jis group mein the we probably agree to disagree or disagree to agree i don't know which was which is the right word to say uh, but in any case you know at the end of uh, the time allotted to us we came up with not just one definition but probably a multitude of definitions because we didn't come to a consensus at that point of time uh, but nonetheless i think you know it's not an end by itself it is just the beginning and uh, hopefully uh, by the end of the four days i think four groups and multiple opinions we will probably converge at some point of time some uh, definition which uh, uh, which will probably fit in to everyone's expectations or everyone's intention what it should have uh, i think we are we are in an era of one size fits all but uh, then certainly i think the definition may not fit all um, so i think you know not going into greater details you know may i ask the first group whichever group has uh, thought you know they are the first one to have completed uh, if they could make that presentation then we can have a discussion yeah um acha uh, my coach has suggested you know let's go alphabetically whichever group is the first one so brahmaputra unfortunately is not a nadi it is a nada so <laughs> so <laughs> maybe brahmaputra so i think you know it's different so maybe brahmaputra should start it so can everyone from the brahmaputra group put up their raise their hands <laughs> okay these are the people who almost killed each other <laughs> defining uh, rivers so as you can see uh, the if you look at the schedule that was given to us it had holistically in quotes but we have changed it to defining in quotes now because we had a lot of discussion over can rivers be defined 
so we made some attempt uh yeah so uh, a lot of us in the group uh, felt that uh, it's very uh, difficult to uh, define rivers especially because we referred to our <laughs> wikipedia definition <laughs> which none of us felt was adequate and then of course we all uh, had our own uh, own uh, kind of uh, views which we felt were too anthropocentric, uh, too human-centric, maybe uh, we are compartmentalizing the river, maybe it's uh, you know not good enough to define a river, so we felt that we won't limit ourselves and we will describe a river instead. So uh, one of the things about uh, a river, we felt that it is naturally occurring, so anything that is human-made is uh, cannot be defined as a river, but uh, and it's a naturally occurring entity. Uh, it's a living system. Uh, so there are various aspects to this living system. Uh, and uh, as uh, um, um, uh, Sureshwarji said that uh, they, the rivers are speaking to us. And uh, he gave the example of a Japanese study uh, several times. So uh, yeah, uh, we, we discussed the different aspects, the geological, the hydrological, ecological, socio-cultural, religious, spiritual, which make uh, this living uh, entity or define uh, the relationships of this living entity or the living system. Um, uh, we believe that, um, I mean, after a discussion in the group, uh, that flow is the basis of this uh, living system. So uh, if the river flows, everything else <laughs> follows. So yeah, uh, whether it's the geology, the hydrology, the ecology, social, cultural, religious, spiritual aspects, everything is connected with the flow of the river. The f so it's important that the river, uh, that the f it is the flow that defines the river or describes the river. Uh, diversity is another aspect that uh, we spoke about. Uh, and uh, in diversity, there's uh, I mean, there's also the concept of heterogeneity, that it changes over time and space. So in one region, uh, yeah, the Satlaj is called by a different name and different region, different place, it's called something else. The rituals change, uh, the, the functions of the river change, uh, the uh, geology changes, the hydrology of that place may be different. So. Uh, again, yeah, it could be seasonal and perennial. Uh, so uh, there was the example of the river Kosi, again, uh, with the fact that we do not view it in uh, as a changing entity or a ch changing over time and space and try to contain it is, uh, a, you know, as a linear kind of entity uh, is has led to several problems. So we discussed uh, that of Kosi. Uh, and also interconnectedness or the uh, the interrelationships within the different dimensions, whether it's of the ecology or the socio-cultural or uh, the, uh, the religious, spiritual, etc. Uh, whether it's the physical or the abstract, because there are some things where, uh, you know, the, so, some people spoke about the river from a very subjective kind of point of view, from a spiritual point of view, spoke about oneness uh, in terms of the connections physically, but also oneness in terms of other connections at a different level, which are very difficult to explain or define. So, sorry. Yeah, that, uh, that human dependency or river as a life support system, as, uh, as opposed to, I mean, we didn't, we discussed it more as a, again, connect, uh, this is connected with the interconnectedness uh, part so, uh, but spe uh, specifically from the point of view of human beings, it's it's a life support system or it's part of the social system, as we call it, uh, which is uh, also why many civilizations etc. Uh, came around came up around uh, rivers. So yeah, this is these are the elements or characteristics according to us which are very important in uh, describing a river. That's it. Uh, yeah, anybody from the group wants to add, please? <laughs> yeah, I think. So, see, the Koshi project that she is talking about, uh, the human intervention, uh, 
we spoke of the result of human intervention. Uh, of course, uh, it, Bhagirathi was already <coughs> talked about here, that she has disappeared into the <coughs> uh, earth. And the scientific advisor to the government of India and the chairman of Atomic Energy Commission were deputed to find out what has happened to one third of this river Ganga. Bhagirathi is one third of the river, and she has disappeared down below. And of course, there is a magma level, so at the magma level, it probably vaporizes. It could uh, have that uh, molecular disintegration as well, uh, in which case carbon and hydrogen could be uh, a, a atom bomb or an hydrogen bomb. So anyway, that has not occurred so far, so you keep your fingers crossed. As regards the COSI, I pointed out that human intervention has caused an absolute social disaster. Here was this beautiful river. She was a, like a dancing maiden. She used to uh, flow here, and then she would flow there the next year. And so what? The local people adjusted to it. They were happy with her. They built temples at the various places that she shifted. They danced, uh, made song, songs about her. They adapted. And you now comes the great Indian nation and government and so on. They say, no, we'll stop the shifting of the river. Uh, Mr. Nehru had uh, uh, deputed somebody to check the Hwang Ho in China, which is also a shifting river, and how they, have they managed to control. The gentleman comes back and said, yes, they have controlled it. To this day, we know that the Hwang Ho has not been controlled. So in a similar fashion, they tried to control the <coughs> Kosi. They have failed to do so, and the adverse result is that there is a permanent flood there today. Earlier, there used to be flood only in the seasonal, seasonal flood, and the river is to shift with the flood. But today, there is a permanent flood in the Kosi area, and people are very badly off. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the same group or other groups want to say something? Yeah. Yeah, I think knows. Uh, that's what you know. They ask uh, from their own group if someone else wants to add something. Uh, it seems nobody from the group has anything else to add into that. Uh, so maybe you can go to the next group then. Uh, from the Brahmaputra to the next group. Narmada? If they are ready? Kaveri, okay. Alphabetically, sorry.